Sometimes it's hard to find locations in space without first creating some sketch lines. This usually means going back and erasing the unnecessary line work when we're finished. In this lesson, we're going to look at a way to place geometry in our drawing without creating any extra line work. If you look at my screen, you can see I've got a drawing of a couple of speakers. And what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to take the dimensioned circles that we see on this speaker and we're going to recreate them over here. Now before I get started, take a look at my status bar. Notice my current mode settings. Right now my dynamic input mode is turned on, as well as my running object snaps. And if I right click on this, we can see that I currently have a running object snap set for center as well as endpoint. If you're going to work along with me, make sure your settings match mine. I'm going to hit escape to clear this menu. Then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We'll center this on screen. And I'm going to create it using the sketch line method first. I can see that my circle is 13 inches down from this endpoint. This drawing happens to be set for decimal inches, by the way. And I can see that the circle is 4.75 inches from this edge. Well, I can find that location by using my line command. I'm going to come up and launch line. Let me grab the end point right here. And I'm going to lock my ortho. Let's pull straight down and I'm going to type 13 and hit enter. I will then pull to the left and type 4.75 and hit enter. At this point, I can hit escape to get out of the command. And this endpoint represents the center of this circle. So we could come up and launch the circle command. We can click to grab the endpoint of that line. And the circle has a radius of 2. So I'll type in 2 and hit enter. Now there's nothing wrong with this method, except I have to go back and delete this unnecessary line work. Let me click to select these guys, and I'll hit the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of them. In fact, as long as we're at it, I'm going to click this circle and hit delete. We'll get rid of this, and I'm going to show you a way to place this circle without creating any unnecessary line work. I'm going to do that by using a feature called temporary tracking. Let me come down and turn my ortho off, and let's try this. I'm going to come up and launch my circle command. AutoCAD wants me to specify a center point. I'm going to type TK on my keyboard, this stands for Temporary Tracking, and I'm going to hit Enter. Notice as soon as Temporary Tracking is turned on, AutoCAD automatically turns on my ortho, and from here I can simply guide AutoCAD to where I want to place the center of this circle. So my first tracking point is going to be the end point of this line. I'm going to pull down and type 13 and hit Enter. I will then pull to the left and type 4.75, enter. Essentially, I'm creating an invisible line. Now that I'm where I want to be, I can hit the enter key on my keyboard. To finish the temporary tracking, notice AutoCAD automatically turns off my ortho. And I can enter my radius. I'm going to type 2 and hit enter. Let's see if we can place this circle using temporary tracking. I'm going to hit my space bar to go right back into the circle command. Let's type TK for temporary tracking. My first tracking point is going to be the end point right here. I'm going to pull to the left and type 6.5, enter. I will pull down and type 6, enter. Now that I'm at my location, I'm going to hit the enter key again. And the big circle has a radius of 3.5, enter. Now to create the rest of the circles, I don't have to use temporary tracking, I can simply use the center point of this circle. Let me hit spacebar to go back into the circle command. I'll select the center of this circle, and the next radius is 1.5, enter. I'll hit my spacebar again, I'll grab the center of the circle, and I'll type 1.4 for that radius, enter. I'll hit my spacebar one more time, I'll select the circle, and the final radius is 0.5, enter. Using temporary tracking, we can easily place geometry into our drawing without the need for extra unnecessary line work.